Copy and paste with the lasso tool for a quick and easy way to work with alpha sheets. An alpha sheet is a single layered document that contains multiple alpha and numeric characters that are easily isolated for use in scrapbooking. This alpha sheet can be found in the downloads for this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and convenient trick for using alpha sheets with the lasso tool. First, begin by opening an alpha sheet. Then get the lasso tool. It's nested with the other selection tools. In the tool options, click on the new selection icon and set the feather to zero pixels. Now on the document, click and drag a selection around the character that you wish to add to your scrapbook page. Make sure to not include any other character within that selection and make sure that your selection outline is not actually touching the character itself. Now press Control C, that's Command C on a Mac, to copy the pixels of this selection onto your computer's clipboard. Next, activate a document that you want to add your alpha to. I'm going to activate this document, which is from the My Everyday Life class in the classroom. I'll activate the top layer in the Layers panel, and then press Control V, that's Command V on a Mac, to paste in the copied pixels. I'll get the Move tool, and in the Tool Options, Auto Select is unchecked. Now I can click and drag on my document and move that letter into place. Now at this point, I really do want to resize this letter to be smaller, but I'm going to go ahead and add all the other letters in my title before I resize. That way I'll resize them all at the same time and their sizes will easily match. So just as before, I'm going to activate that alpha sheet, then get the lasso tool, then I'll drag a selection around the next letter that I'm wanting, which is this O. Once again, I'll press Control C, that's Command C on a Mac, to copy the selected pixels to my computer's clipboard, activate my document, and press Control V, that's Command V on a Mac, to paste in those copied pixels. Get the Move tool and click and drag that element into place. So here's how my title looks after adding all the alpha characters. So I do want the title to be a bit smaller, but I waited to resize it until all the characters were added to the title because I want them all to be the same size. So to do that, I'll click on the top layer of my title to activate it, and then holding down the Shift key, click on the bottom layer. Now all of the alpha characters in my title are active. Then I'll press Control T, Command T on a Mac to get the transform options. And I can resize the title to be much smaller and click and drag inside the bounding box to move it into place maybe even use my keyboard arrow keys to nudge it around. And now the title is ready to have a drop shadow added to it, and it looks terrific on my scrapbook page. If you've found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jen White with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.